Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about seven lipsticks that are gonna be perfect for fall. I wanted to do all drugstore lipsticks because I feel like first of all, fall makeup really means deep, bolder colors or even some more grungy brown tones when it comes to lip color. It can really transform your look and since it can transform your look, I didn't wanna do anything that would cost too much because really a lipstick can transform your mood when it comes to makeup. So I just felt like keeping all of the options affordable would be really, really fun. So all of these these things are going to be from the drugstore. These colors really, really inspire me. I'm gonna be going through each and every one and kind of sharing with you guys why exactly I chose the lipstick for each video as we go on. I'm gonna be swatching them on my lips as we go as well so you guys can see them in action. So let's just get started. The first lipstick I wanna share with you guys is actually one that I recently purchased. This is actually my most recent drugstore lipstick purchase and I cannot get enough of it. This is a lipstick from the Alme Lip Vibes collection. I have probably three other colors in this collection and I'm so obsessed with the formula. I saw this and I thought it'd be perfect for fall. The color is like a really pretty brown. I'm gonna swatch it on my lips. This is in the shade Never Regret. Here's what it looks like in the tube so you guys can get a good feel for it. I picked a few nude colors because even though in the fall I do tend to wear a lot of more bold colors, I still do reach for my nude colors, especially when I have something more bold on the eyes. So let me just apply this. It's hard to talk and apply lipstick at the same time. I love this color. It's a nude, but it leans a little bit more cool toned and a little more brown, which is what I personally reach for when it comes to fall tones in a lipstick. So this was definitely one that I knew I was gonna share with you guys. I've also really enjoyed doing kind of like a 90s vibe by doing a little bit of a darker brown lip liner around the edges and then filling it in with this and it will give you kind of that 90s lip effect, which is kind of a trendy thing right now for fall, especially it's something that I personally am really into as well. So just a little tip with this lipstick, it looks really beautiful with a little bit of a deep liner or you can just wear it like this and it's just like the perfect brown nude, but it's not overpowering, it's not too bold. It really complements any sort of olive greens on the eyes mobs like this if you want or matte brown tones honestly like this is such a good lipstick i'm obsessed with it okay so i wiped that lipstick off so we can move on to the next one this one right here is also newer to my collection it was actually sent to me by essence this is the essence this is nude lipstick in the shade 05 legendary now a few of these when they were shipped they got kind of smashed a little bit so this one's not as pretty in the tube but that doesn't affect the color i wanted to show you guys this is also a nude but this one compared to the first one i showed you it leans a little bit more mauvey purple which is something that i also really love in the fall if you're somebody who likes to wear mauves on the eyes but you still want to wear like a nude lipstick this color would be perfect it has a bit of a brown undertone to it which again is kind of the thing that i am gravitating towards this fall Obviously some of these colors would work all year round, but for me personally in fall, I love to reach for the slightly more cool toned, leaning grungy colors when it comes to a nude. The formula of this is very comfortable and really creamy. And I think it looks beautiful with tones like this, like I have on my eyes, but it would also be a beautiful nude to wear if you just have to run out the door and you have a little bit of eyeliner on and some mascara. I feel like it'd be a really nice nude for just an everyday look as well. And I feel like it goes nicely with my sweater. I don't know. I am so in love with this color. And it's kind of funny because I was looking online and on Ulta.com, when you click on this color, it shows up as like a berry, but this is what it is in real life. So just a little just Disclaimer, if you guys do end up checking this out online, the shade is 05 and it looks like this, not a berry. <laughs> so that's the second option that I'm absolutely loving. So I don't think I told you guys yet, but I'm going in order from like the nudes to more bold colors. So I chose a lot of wearable nudes, but then I know in fall, a lot of people like to wear more bold colors on the lips. I do personally, and I feel like you can get away with really cool vampy colors. So we'll get into that in a second. But those first two are like my favorite bullet lipsticks. The next one I'm gonna show you is a little bit more of a mauvey color. This one's a bit deeper. So we're starting to move into the deeper colors. This is from Honest Beauty and it's the liquid lipstick in the shade BFF. I love this color. I'm so into mauve tones on the lips in fall. And this is a great formula if you need your lip color to really last all day. If you're somebody who kind of prefers a classic bullet lipstick, then the Essence one might be a better one in this category. But if you have a long day ahead of you, if you're going into the office or going to school or whatever, it might be nice to have something that's gonna be a little bit more long wearing. These are some of my favorite liquid lipsticks out of all the liquid lipsticks I own, not just from the drugstore, but it takes a second for them to dry down. Once they do, they do not budge and they feel so comfortable on the lips. I absolutely 
absolutely love this color. I feel like it's a little bit more cool toned, but it's super wearable still. And this is also one that you could wear throughout the year, but I still feel like it's a deep enough color to kind of be a little bit more glamorous, even on an everyday basis. So I wanted to share that one with you guys as well. I love this, it's beautiful. I wanna leave this one on, it's so pretty, but we have four more lipsticks to talk about. Okay, this next color is from L'Oreal. I actually chose three shades from this range. The formula is just perfect for fall, and out of all the drugstore lipsticks that I own, I just really was gravitated towards so many of the shades in this line. So this is the first one that I chose. This is in the shade I Explore, and the reason why I loved this one so much was because it's a little bit more of a brownie nude. It has like a caramel undertone, so if you're somebody who likes to wear more warm tones on the lips or on the eyes and you want something to complement it on the lips, this one would be a great one. Let me go ahead and I'll apply it really fast. Okay, sorry if my lip lines are not perfect. I'm doing my best without a lip liner. But there's that shade swatched on the lips. I don't think it looks as good with my eye look necessarily today, but I really did wanna show you guys this one because I love that it leans a little bit more warm. It's a little bit deep, but it's not like a super bold color. But if you're wanting to kind of dip into something a little bit more bold and you want something with a warm undertone, or if you're someone who wears warm tones on the eyes frequently, this would be a great color to pair with that. It would also look amazing with just mascara on the eyes as well. But I just feel like it's the perfect Perfect, like fall brownish peachy color. I love this one. I think it's so flattering and I think it would look good on so many different skin tones as well. Let's go ahead and try on the next one. I basically stick to different browns and mauves and then sometimes berries in the fall. So that's basically what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. This next color is a little bit more of a bold mauve tone. It's in the mauve family. It's a little bit rosy, but it's still beautiful and perfect for fall in my opinion. This is the Milani Amour Satin Lip Cream in the shade Indulge. And this one is such a good rosy mauve, but it's just slightly muted. So I feel like it really works for fall. Hang on, let me put this on. Okay, I don't know if the lip lines are very even on that, but it's all right, because we're gonna be wiping it off anyway. Don't you love this one? It leans a little bit berry, but it also leans mauve. There's a little bit of brown in there, so I really feel like it's gonna complement a lot of different makeup looks. And again, it's a statement lip, so it's deep enough to where you can do something extremely simple on the eyes, and it's gonna really add a fun element to your makeup look, even if this is just the focal point and everything else is really soft and fresh. I just love this one. And I actually feel like this one kind of goes well with the eye look. I personally would probably do something even softer on the eyes just because this is such a good statement lip but I love this color so I knew I wanted to share this one with you guys as well take a good look at it before I wipe it off we have two more to go through and these last two are also from L'Oreal from that same lipstick range and they're such good colors I can't wait to show you Okay, this next color is one that I honestly overlooked for a really long time, and then I put it on, and it is such a beautiful fall lipstick. I absolutely love it. In the tube, it looks a little bit scary, okay, because it has a little bit of a cool tone brown color to it, and it just seems like something that would make you look washed out, at least that's what I thought. But in reality, it gives you the most beautiful 90s vibe to the lips. I can't wait to show you guys. This is the L'Oreal, I don't even know what they're called. I don't know if they're liquid lipsticks or what this range is called exactly. I will have it linked down below. All I know is the shade is I Stand, and I'm gonna put it on for you so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So at first, you can see it kind of looks like, whoa, that's gonna be weird, but just wait. Okay, at this point, my lip lines are really getting out of control but hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about when it comes to this color. I think it's such a pretty color. It definitely is the most grungy out of all of these. But again, I feel like the fall is the perfect time to wear these kinds of colors because even when I go into winter months, I tend to like to wear things that have a little bit more color in them so that I don't look completely dead. But in the fall, when I'm wearing more muted tones everywhere, I just love to kind of go all out with it and I love colors like this. And again, I just feel like it kind of goes with the 90s vibe that I'm into right now. This would also be beautiful paired with a lip liner around the edge and just filling this in in the center. But I feel like it's a really cool, wearable, cool toned brown. And I definitely wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like it's perfect for fall. And I feel like it's a color that kind of adds to my collection. It's not something that I own a lot of. So it's a little bit more of a statement lip, but in my opinion, it's still really wearable. So I wanted to show you guys that one. Do you guys like this color as much as I do? I'm always interested to know like what you guys gravitate toward when it comes to lipstick. So tell me if you're into these more brown grungy tones. Do you wear them? Let me know. All right, we have one more color after this. And this is definitely the most bold color, but there's always an occasion in the fall to wear a nice, beautiful, bold berry lip, you know? I'm gonna make sure my lips are really dry. 
just so it stays on because this is the color I'm gonna be wearing for the rest of the day. All right, this is also from L'Oreal. Seriously, the colors that they had in this range are beautiful. And I went through like all of my drugstore lipsticks and I found so many beautiful colors, but I can't believe that three of them were out of this range. They're just beautiful. This is the last color. It's a very bold, deep berry color, but I love it. I feel like in the fall, again, I gravitate toward berries. And then in the winter, I like to wear more of a statement red. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't really wear reds in fall. I feel like I wear more orangey reds in the summertime. And then I transfer to berries in the fall. And then I move into like classic reds in the winter. Are you guys like that too, or is it just me? Anyways, this is from the same line and this is in the shade I Enjoy. Let me put this on for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It is so beautiful. It might take me a minute to get the lip lines right on this, but I actually really do like the applicator on this lipstick. It's super precise. And something to note with this color is this will stain your lips, which I personally don't mind, but if you're someone who does not like that, it's just something to keep in mind. And I always like to do two coats with these deeper colors especially with this color because it is a little bit more of a sheer formula, which is nice because it doesn't feel super heavy on the lips. This color probably would have been a little bit easier to apply with a lip liner underneath as well, but that's okay. I just took my time and I feel like the lines are pretty good, but I just feel like this is the perfect deep wine berry kind of color. It's perfect for a special occasion when you want something a little bit more glam and you have a really pretty dress on or something like that, or it also works in more of a casual situation, but I definitely really love berry colors in fall. I feel like it's a statement lip, but it's not gonna wash you out completely. It's gonna still bring life to the skin and make you look really healthy as the cool weather kind of rolls in, you know? So I really love this berry color and I hope you guys do too. So that's it. Those are all the lip colors I have to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed all seven of the colors that I chose. I honestly was so inspired by all seven of these colors. All of the formulas are amazing as well, by the way. So I hope it helped you out if you're looking for a new lipstick to add to your collection this fall. I wanna know in the comments though, what is your favorite go-to fall lipstick? If you've got one from the drugstore, be sure to share it. But if it's something that's not from the drugstore, don't worry about it. I still wanna hear what it is. So leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys like to wear as far as lip colors go in the fall. If you're new here. Hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. All right. Well, that was a really fun video. I love fall lipsticks and now I feel very cozy and very fall with my fall nails that I did this morning and also in my sweater. I love fall. I seriously do. It's my favorite season. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you.